The nurse is coming back with the doctor and she's telling me to, to my wife, like, uh, I'm so sorry, but your son does not hear. Like 100%? 100%, we have tests. We understand our fathers, but they want us to follow their steps. Yeah. And you feel that pressure yeah. upon yourself. We go through it too. Yeah. People yeah. think if you're a pastor, if you come from a blessed family, that you have no problem. All right, guys, we are so excited about this program and I'm so happy that God gave me this opportunity to have this program with my dear, dear friends and my brothers and our pastors of this ministry, Pastor Sergei Kucher and also Pastor Ruslan Kalinyuk. And I, I believe you're going to hear so much good stuff was going to come out out of their mouth and their journey, the way God was guiding them and leading them. And maybe I will add something out of my life. But uh, today, today we want to touch very specific topic and we want to talk more about the power of purpose. And we yeah. really believe that God has a destiny for each, every one of us and his unique way, the way God is leading us uh, through the seasons, and we cannot ignore the process. We have to enjoy the moment and uh, celebrate the process, yes. you know, and then see God in every step you take, in every way uh, he's leading you. And uh, I believe the process is very powerful. And sometimes we don't talk enough about the process, the way God is taking us and leading us in our calling. Every one of you, I believe you desperately want to know what God prepared for you and what God planned even before you were born yeah. on this earth. So today we're going to have this topic and I believe this program will bless you. So buckle up and let's go. Let me start with you, Pastor uh, Ruslan. Uh, we'll go with the names. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. friends. We've been doing this journey doing together, together for a while. Yeah. yeah, we're doing life together with our wives, our families. And I, honestly, I'm so honored just to have this moment with yeah. two of you. Uh, I believe it's the first time. Yes. It's the first time that we have this program together. Just us, uh, who's, uh, I believe, leading this movement and God uh, is using them mightily. So, we'll start from the beginning. If you can tell us more about your background, and I want to hear your background as well, and uh, you, will, uh, you will hear a lot of new stuff about this wonderful gentleman. Yeah. Let's go, Russ. Let's, Let's go do with it. you. Let's go. Yeah. First of all, I'm just, I'm just honored to be here, and this is actually, like Pastor Andrew said, is my first time to go, go live and just share what God uh, has done in my life and my family. But my background, um, I'm, I'm a son of uh, Alex Kalinuk. He's a pastor and he's a bishop that went to be with the Lord yeah. three months ago. Amazing man of God. Um, and I, I, honor, I, I honor him. And by the way, before you're going to continue, I want, I want everybody to know, honestly, his father, he's an amazing man of God. He's a father, you know, and before he went to heaven, like, I never forget this yeah, moment. Yeah, it was uh, you crazy. gave me a call and I was like, I felt urgent in me, just run there. And your father was expecting that I'll come and pray for him. Yeah. But as I come to the house and I saw his face, Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, no, ask him to pray for you. Wow. It was powerful. It was powerful. Moment. It was wow. powerful yeah. moment. I remember I stood on my knees and he lay hands on me and I felt, literally felt physically that Father God through him is wow. blessing me. Wow. Like he was like just, you know. It was powerful. Yeah, it was, it was a powerful it moment. Just... So, and the rub, he's praying for me, not wow. me praying for him. Wow. But yeah, Passing I never, I never forget this moment. Wow. It was yeah, very yeah, yeah. Um, I, I remember that, that, that just the thickness of the presence of God in the room. My mom was there, uh, my wife was there and the, the went, and he passed away mm -hmm. literally in two days he wow. went to be with the Lord wow. um, and he, he that was his time but he wanted to pray for Pastor Andre as well but um, so I'm married to Anna Kalinuk um, she's the daughter of um, Peter Sergichenko uh, amazing man of God general so both bishops. Both, your dad is a bishop yeah, yeah. your wife's dad is oh, a bishop man. come on so it's a Woo. it's a journey it's a journey it's a journey that that you know that you are with both bishops 
and they love you. They want for you to be with them. But sometimes God is talking personally to you. Um, I have amazing brother, three sisters, um, loves the Lord. But my family, uh, I have an older son, Mark. He's a worship leader here at Flame of Fire Church. Amazing. One of the worship leaders. Amazing. Uh, Daniel, um, he's in media. Um, just guy with excellence. Uh, yeah. Always, Dad, I need to take a shower. I need to be at church. Um, my wife, great teaching gift on her. And uh, I see that apostolic gift on her as well. She's a very visionary, very structured woman. And I'm just blessed uh, to, to be in that heritage with my father, with my father-in-law. And um, so that's kind of my, my, uh, my background. But it, as, as you go on in this direction, uh, you have a powerful testimony. Uh, I feel like we have to manage this quickly, if it's yeah. possible. When your first son was born, Mark, Ooh, yeah. because that, that's a powerful, I, never, I remember that time I was, uh, I was leading worship in a pr previous church and you were there and you were testifying, you know, and when we all know that powerful testimony that what God did in your son, with your son. Yeah, yeah. If you can share <coughs> quick, quickly and briefly, I think it's powerful. I mean, I, it's so awesome that this program, that we can flow a little bit, yeah. because I think in details, in details, that's what makes the big puzzle. Come on. Yeah. That yeah. In, in small details, like that yeah. puzzle yeah. is going to... It's gonna bless someone that, yeah. that is watching. It's yeah. gonna heal someone that is watching. Yeah. It's gonna bring that faith into Because them. we go through it too. Yeah. People yeah. think if you're a pastor, if you come from a blessed family, that you have no problems. Yeah. It's not true. No. Right? No. We, have, we have a body. And as long as we have a body on this earth, we have situations, yeah. we have circumstances. You know, and you're going through, through the process. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, yeah. Yeah, and so I believe it's even harder. Yeah. In my opinion, again, yeah. I'm just speaking... Uh, harder my, in, in what, you think? My opinion. I think it's harder because when you grow up in the environment mm -hmm. of ministers, mm -hmm. yes. uh, from, especially from the both sides, <coughs> uh, most of the time, you know, we understand our fathers, but they want us to follow their steps. Yeah. And you feel that pressure yeah. upon yourself. It's sometimes it's even harder to obey God, to follow your direction and what yeah. God called you. So it's not easy. <laughs> it's easier when you're coming out of nowhere, you know, yeah. you've been, yeah. uh, you know, coming up out of... Uh, Here I am, diff in Flame yeah. of Fire Church. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. But, but there is there's a process. But you, uh, Pastor Andrew, you said about, um, about my son. Yeah, my son was born deaf on both ears. Wow. Um, like 100%? 100%. We have tests. Wow. We have tests. I remember uh, when he was born, they took him to check on him. And then um, they did all the testing. And the nurse is coming back with the doctor. And he's, she's telling me to, to my wife, like, uh, I'm so sorry, but your son does not hear. Wow. He's deaf. He does not pass the test. Um, and... Uh, and they're like, it's okay, no problem. We're gonna prescribe him special hearing and it's gonna connect with his brain and he's gonna function little by little. Um, to make the story short, um, it took us a couple of months uh, and my wife's like, sweetie, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just get that because they already prescribed it. And I said, no. The like physical uh, yeah. instrument, like yeah. whatever it's, what's it's called. It's like a yeah. plug that goes in your ears so with the tubes inside. He has to live this the whole, all his life? All his life. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I don't want them. And I remember like three, four months praying. I mean, imagine, yeah. Pastor Serge, you're going to your bed. You're having your son there in the crib. Doesn't make no sounds. Wow. Does not cry. Like no reaction. No reaction. You go, you you go like that by his bed crib. No reaction at all. Just sleeping. Wow. And uh, like for a father, you you you're like God. You you you're in control. But my wife Anna, she's taking him, and you just see tears. Yeah. You just see tears. And I remember I came from. I used to work at this delivery company long time ago. That was, what, 20 years ago. I came to him. I picked him up. And I said, 
God, you gave him ears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gave him ears for a purpose. Yeah. And he will hear. Come on. My son hears. And next morning, I'm like, God healed my son. Why I, I'm saying that? Because he started to move. Something different happened. Wow. I saw that. From that moment when you proclaimed that. When I proclaimed that. Something different happened. My wife, and I remember I was doing a pickup route in Folsom. And I'm going on the second floor. We still don't have no phones up there. They're like, and my wife is calling. No, we had, a, we had a phone actually, but it was big. She, and, I, I, and she's crying. I'm like, sweetie, what's, what's, what's going on? She said, I gave my R mark to the doctor. He's checking and he gives me back. And he's like, your son totally hears. Wow, come on, Jesus. Perfectly hears. Perfectly. Thank you, Lord. And my wife started to cry, gave him back the son, and just um, and called me, and like, sweetheart, God healed our boy. Wow! So he's a miracle baby. Come on! Wow. Right now he's uh, right now he's a, one of the worship leader in our church. So, can you imagine? Not that? just that. Um, I uh, he's a real estate agent. Yeah. Um, he's an amazing man of God. Yeah, he is. Uh, Serge, you know him really good. He, he, you guys have that relationship a lot. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. It's really powerful story. I'm telling you, just to see this, and of course you're gonna you're gonna see some pictures, and you will see um, something from the previous year. But I want to stop you here because we're gonna go back and forth uh, with Pastor Sergi. Yours. Your background a little bit similar to this. A little bit similar. Because you're coming back from the pastoral set, uh, yeah, family I'm, as well. I'm third generation pastor. Whoa. So my grandpa was a pastor, um, gets baptized in the gifts in his silo, as, you know, a small little village in, in Ukraine. <coughs> and they don't know. No one's teaching them how to do church. Mm. And so for everything, they ask the Holy Spirit. You know, someone's like, should we sing like this? We don't know. Ask the Holy Spirit. I mm. remember he would even say, we wanted to play guitar. We didn't know if it would sell out or not. You ask the Holy Spirit. No way. He gives you peace. And yeah, actually, uh, I'll share some more stories. Like, he started some churches. They had drums now in those churches. And God's so moving that's your to grandfather. this day. My grandpa. Uh, moved very much in the supernatural. Because, yeah, to this day, I have people that come to me. that say, my w there's a story, true story. Uh, someone's wife was dying of mm -hmm. cancer. My grandpa comes with uh, like three or four people. They said, hey, we were praying in the morning. He was a, he's a prayer warrior. He prayed daily, daily. He said, we were praying, and God gave us this address, so we came here. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, my wife's dying from cancer. They pray for her. She gets healed from cancer. The, mo the daughter of the mom comes, and she's like, you're a coocher. I know your grandpa. So I get the privilege to this, and you're like, wow, like, this wow. is unbelievable. Awesome. This is unbelievable. And so you, you see those things, and then, of course, uh, dad is a pastor, amazing mom and dad, uh, grew up in a blessed home. They loved the Lord. and But even my dad didn't fully follow. Like my dad was not in my, my grandpa's church. Mm -hmm. He went to an American church. God, God led him to an American church. So right there you kind of started seeing like, whoa, why, why is it not going the way man plans? Right? And so... Pastor Schultz, I'm going to interrupt. What's funny that my dad was not at his dad's church. Yeah. That's, that's, that's funny. Like, my grandpa was a pastor as well, and my dad went, yeah, but go ahead. That's and so, um, my grandpa moved in the gifts. All about Holy Spirit, all about the gifts, and my dad was like, well, I feel, you know, more fruit and things like this, more character. Again, both men, men and women of God, uh, both men of God. And so, it was, it was just interesting to see that. It was yeah. just interesting because uh, my, dad, my dad got called to an American church. He actually got ordained as a pastor in an American church. And he found the Lord more in the American church. And it was a very uh, controversial time. Yeah. But because my grandpa was moved by the Spirit, he would go to this American church because he wanted to check it out. Like, so he where, did not stop him. It, my grandpa went and he wanted to know what's going on. He, because he was trying to taste the Spirit. He wanted to taste it. And 
because he was sensitive to the spirit. That's awesome. That's he brilliant. said, I don't understand them clapping. Yep. This is 15 years ago. Yep. I don't understand the clapping. I don't understand the drums. I don't, but the presence of God is here. Come on. So I will stop there. This is good. And, and that's, I think that showed me and yeah. I think more it showed my dad because when I had that transition, he, he would say, just follow God's presence. Mm. You know, that was powerful. I believe that you are touching something very sensitive. For us, as we are growing in the knowledge of God, we need to understand one thing. That's why, that, that's why we need to understand the power of transformation when we become one with the nature of God. Mm. Yeah. Because in life, in our Christian life, in our journey, we, comes to, we come to the moment that many things we will be judging by the nature. Mm. Yeah. Not, by the, not by the methods. Method. Yes. Methods could change. But as long as you taste and you, <coughs> you know God's presence and you yeah. know His nature, you come to the place, you don't understand some kind of forms, but you know that God Himself in this place, and then you're like, you know, I raise my case, it's just God is here and He's moving. Yeah, so it was, it was interesting that dynamic. It was very interesting that dynamic where uh, when Grandpa started, he only relied on the Holy Spirit because he said there was no one there to teach me how to do this. And of course, persecution. He spent uh, actually both my par both sides of my grandpa sent ten years in prison for the faith. So when I hear these kind of stories, I understand um, the certain blessings that I have are because of those stories That's as well. Cool. So I respect cool. and I honor that lineage that I have. Mm -hmm. And our goal, right, is that our kids can go further. We say this here that our our ceiling becomes their floor. That's good. Because then it has to be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. And we saw every single one of them, they moved with visions and dreams, and it just kept increasing and increasing. And the previous generation would show them and tell them these stories. Yeah. And so it was very special. It's still very special. I think same thing happened with your father as well. I never forget one time he came to our place. I wanted, I wanted. Yeah, yeah, and we, we're gonna touch uh, here and there because we need to move forward. There is a lot of things that we wanna, uh, we wanna touch today through this program. I believe we're gonna touch some key and uh, I really want you to, to, to just uh, hear where we are going with this program. There is a purpose why we're touching this yeah. and we want you to understand uh, the power of process and the power of purpose. But I never forget your, when your father came to our place, one of the services. And uh, he, he has a different background as yes, well. They are, yes. they are practicing, they were used to, I mean, the, the church still exists. Yeah. But your father went to the heaven. But he came, and when he came up on a stage, mm -hmm. I never forget this. Yeah. Uh, that, that time was so powerful. Uh, I remember at, that's our first awakening so night again, yeah. here at the base, and it was on the parking lot. We still didn't have the field, to make it, but, but it was on the parking lot. Good. And uh, Mark, so, our oldest, that I want to get baptized. Celebration, and presence of God. Like, sure, people get awakening baptized. nights. We have a couple my of people to get baptized, and you're gonna get baptized. With my, with and he's my like, mom, Dad, can you invite with Grandpa? With some of the family members. He, Mark really um, loves his grandpa, uh, the other, he, like he's yeah, a very, they say a color, like so red, blue, and yellow, this guy is blue. He very has, relational. Very relationships relational. mean a lot to him. And I'm like, sure. Rust so I call up my dad, I'm like, I'm dad. Speak. But I before that, that, there is a big went, process. I'm like, why? Um, he me calls even me next day and he uh, tells coming me to Flame of Fire. Yeah, we're gonna touch this pretty soon, but, but yeah, that uh, moment. He, he's like, what my dad did, he's like, I will try. And I love my father, but he's like, I will try. So he puts me on this pause, like, okay. And I'm like, please, Mark wants you to be there, dad. And he's like, son, don't tell me wh what to do. I will try, I told you. And I'm like, man, and you know, you, it's your father. So I call him again and he will, he's telling me, son, I will try to make it, but I think I'll be there. So awakening night celebration presence of god people getting baptized my dad comes with my with my mom with some of the family members um and uh, once he uh, i asked pastor andre to give him a word so he, we gave him a word just to bless yeah. and he's like once i got on the stage russ i lost whatever i'm gonna speak i lost like my thoughts when I'm like, why? He, he calls me next day and he tells me that. 
This is someone who's been a pastor for 30, yeah. 40 years. Yeah. And I'm like, Dad, why? What, what? He's like, the presence of God is so strong. Yeah. I'm, 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 right now, I'm f like, I know I'm feeling it right now because he's like, I took the mic, I lost my thoughts, and I'm like, God, what's happening? And he said, I am here. Yeah. Just flow. And I remember he blessed Mark, he yeah. blessed our church. Yeah. And after a couple of days, he calls me, Pastor Andrew, he calls me, he's like, I want you both to come to my office. Cause yeah, I remember that. Remember that? Yeah. Because yeah. some stuff that I thought or people told me about uh, Pastor Andre, about the ministry, it's different. Yeah. It's yeah. different. It, it was good. We went, to, we went to his office and he started blessing us. Yeah, and that, that's a beautiful picture when, when we see and we honor our fathers because yeah, maybe they were doing ministry with the different methods, but they know God, they oh, yeah. taste yeah. God, and they can recognize. So we honestly bless our fathers. The end. Yeah, I honor your parents. They are awesome. You know, they have Russian stores, so I come there. They yeah. always, they always bless me, and I'm so happy with just the to fish. see the way. <laughs> yeah, the way God was leading them as well. You, yeah. you, your family, you guys are blessed, and same thing with you, Pastor Ruslan, and your family, your father, and your wife's father uh, both of them so we honor our father we praise God for them but listen to this but God has a different different way and purpose and flavor and yeah, destiny for, for every one of us yeah you know same thing happened with my family my background background and I never forget when when I was with the Lord and I asked him please teach me guide me the first thing he spoke to me he said I will I will guide you or I will take you out yeah. right here in our mindset yeah. out of your family out of your generation and I'm gonna place you into my blood's life yeah. in my DNA yeah. so it's a powerful process that's why I wanna I want us to go there